What's up guys, this is the Rushman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick off up on last time, we pretty much just ganged up on the Württembergs and we recaptured Cologne and Strasbourg and lay, cap lay siege um, to their final capital. And the next biggest thing that happened was Great Britain declared war on me, so now I've also got the risk again of Portsmouth um, being in range of my main port and cutting off lots of trade. So I need to grow my navy again, which I've got a, a nucleus of. I'm um, in second rates, Tonnant, Karan, Salamine. Um, but what I've noticed from the British fleet in Portsmouth is that they do have HMS Victory, which I definitely want to capture. <laughs> That'd be fun. But also, British, Britain declaring war on me also means that this um, force here in Lisbon is instead going to go on a expedition to India to take Ceylon, then knock out Calcutta and Katak to knock out British possessions in India. And it also give the um, the, Mar the uh, Mughals a front to which to focus their efforts um, on me there, rather than across my trade theatres. It also means that I can push east into the Middle East with some of these forces also existing in um, Damascus. But right now I need to um, be a bit more coherent with what I'm doing. Because basically I've got money, but I've got so many things I can spend money on. That's the main problem. Let's hop over to America. It's cool, yeah, Britain's declared war on me. So that means that I'm going to fight them. Because I'm not going to... I didn't want to fight in America. Um, I wanted the USA to form. But at the same time, I'm not going to just sit here and just weather, weather a load of attacks from them. So... What might end up doing is this force will go on and capture... Will they siege Philadelphia? Then I will capture it. And then try and make peace of them. Maybe. No, not make peace of them. I want to fight in India. Um, but yes, the Mughals landed another stack and ta captured Dutch Guyana. While well, my back was turned. Um... So I just brought my army back from the port and laid siege to it again. Um, in terms of tra in terms of research, everyone seems to be researching things that are useful. National debt might be quite a good one to get, more so than manufacturing. So let's do national debt for you. Um, let's switch you from punch card loom over to machine tools because it's. The plus 8% bonus to town wealth from all buildings is big. Granted, the wealth from textile industries is big, but I think I prefer, I prefer a little bonus across the board rather than a big targeted bonus. Cool. And then let's hit end turn and see what happens. Oh, wow. So that army that's currently garrisoning that Cherokee territory is going to come across and intercept that force. <laughs> so I can maintain my plan to uh, lay siege to Philadelphia. Like I said, I wish I didn't have to. I'd rather let the USA form. I think they'd be a bit more interesting. But, you know, these things happen. I'd also quite like... Well, yeah, I definitely do want to start expeditioning um, in India because I need to at some point and India is worth a lot of money. Yeah, the Ottomans are being the Ottomans as per usual. Mm, trying to steal a Russian tech, eh? Yeah, I think I'm on 13 grand, which isn't very much at all. <laughs> um, that's not a lot of money for this for this stage of the campaign and covering as many theatres as I, if I, as I currently cover. Um, so I need to deal with that. I need to fix that up and start to balance my income a bit better. Absolutely, I'm going to fight you and I'm going to absolutely paste you. So let's fight. Determination to attack that territory. So I think ultimately I might just end up recruiting a, just a decent garrison for it. There is a nice army. I suppose I could use them to knock out other British colonial possessions in um, the Americas. Tempting to build an army, then just run straight over to Ireland and capture it, then attack Britain. But I think. The clause I've given myself before about attacking Britain is I want to do it um, 
when it's the last thing they own. So I want to set back to give my artillery a decent killing field. Maybe sp so let's do that and then let's do Then on the other side of this, put maybe a unit of infantry with the other guns. It's a lot of artillery. Good. And let's move on and take. too far. Let's do that. Let's put my pikes behind this artillery unit. You're not deployed. Let's keep you as a reserve. Well now let's deploy you out on the flank actually. Because I've got a couple of units of militia I can use as reserve. You're deployed. You're deployed. Cavalry can go here to cover this set of guns. House is in a central position. General in the central position. So the reinforcements are coming from up over here. This is the garrison forces. Oh, there goes my artillery. You attacked me, so I don't know what you're planning on doing by holding back. Let's keep my hearts of firing at their um, artillery. So who are they targeting? My howitzers have answered. <laughs> so they've attacked me, so I expect they're going to wait for their reinforcements to get into position. So if that's true, then I'll get this artillery to hit their artillery position as well just because they should be able to do a lot of damage with that angle they've got on it. Yeah. Let's do halt and fire at will. Halt and fire at will. Just let them re relocate their targets. See, they're wavering where their crew have gone. Okay, so the cavalry are taking more of a direct route. So let's do this. Reorientate my cavalry. Or maybe put my cavalry out on the flank. Because they are getting pummeled. Camel gunners. Yeah, they are camel gunners. Backed up as Imandari horsemen. Or Zamandari. Zamandari horsemen. Camel nomads. If these guys want to get into a gunfire with my infantry, they're more than welcome. This horse team's want to get shot to bits by my infantry. You are a bold one retreating in this direction. No, not interested.
coming in. Just rapid fire into them now, I suppose. They're coming across the dead ground. Here comes cavalry, here comes the bowmen. So let's get you switched canister. Get you switched canister and aim at the cavalry. Make a military focus on those camel nomads. Oh, here come the camel gunners. Everyone seems to be doing their jobs. Let's hit that tempting target. Keep the canister flying. Oh, devastating shot with canister there. You need to hit those camel nomads because they are quite devastating. They should struggle a bit with my infantry in square. I know cavalry is bad to engage with camels, but they're routing, or well, their courage is low. So I'm hoping I can. The square's been broken. There we go. Get my gunners back to their guns. Mm, not a great angle for canister shot. And these guys should start getting picked apart by my line infantry. Yeah, there we go. Oh, sea quarries are having a go at my Hessian line infantry. And they're not doing so great. Although that's got to be temporary. 
Get my pikes down there. If these guys are thinking about trying to join joining this fray, it's not happening. Although I am surprised that my Hessian line is doing so well. Because they are just naturally worse. The, the defense is a bit. There we go, that's more like it. We should change once my pikes get involved. Glorious pikemen. Getting skewered by big pointy sticks. Pikes. That's the end of them. Let's hit that unit of musketeers, they're still quite strong. What's back there? Mortars? Right, we'll get my cavalry to chase them down then. To be honest, let's deploy my general as well. Start hacking up some of these units. Well, not those units, because they're coming back. Well, oh, Simandari horsemen. They are... Skirmishes, I think, so. Although, to be fair, if they're happy to run around you. Firing some shots at my bows and my um, cavalry, but it's all for naught. Not much of a charge. You crazy Sikh warriors, don't you know what's going to happen? See, if I imagine if I had houses with quick climb, holy moly, there wouldn't be an army to go back to. Okay, so I'll keep my cavalry there because they're hidden. I'm just keep an eye on them on the battle map. Keep my heart just picking at the horsemen. Bring my infantry down. Because this single unit of Hessian line infantry is looking a bit weak. That being so, let's deploy a unit of militia. 
Deploy a unit of reserves. I mean, I could bring this infantry unit around, but I want to... Yeah, I could do that as well. Okay. Present. Don't kill a load of militiamen. Yeah, I did blow some away. Let's go after the Sikh warriors with my regiment of horse. The ultimate target for my cavalry will be these chaps. The Sikh Warriors are also very good, so I'll accept them as a reasonable consolation prize. If I can make this inventory horseman route as well, that would be perfect, because then the game would be over and I'd have free roam to run around chopping up the rest of their infantry. Good. Get stuck in. Let's continue. And let's triple speed it. And then let's also turn off my artillery. the wrong way. Let's hit the, this unit of Kib Kitsubishi Musketeers. I think, I, think, I think they're a bit better. Well, they, would, they probably are a bit better than the Garrison Musketeers. Oh, that's the Garrison men. They're all Garrison men at this point. They must have routed... Good, good, good. Clean up. I'm probably not going to catch this unit before it out. Well, go for it. Go for it, General. can chop any of them up to be honest, I'll accept here's a win. <laughs> Come on, mop mop up the big block before you go chasing down the stragglers. Yeah they routed so then let's go join in the hunt on these guys. They are doing an alright job. But is that 12 men? No. One of them? The clever... Oh no. Oh 
Oh, my artillery. Get him! <laughs> One of those shots just finished him off. Sweet. But yeah, you can see why quicklime is so darn effective and useful to have against Indian in the Indian battles. That's right, you're gone. Hopefully the Genoans clean, clean you out. Yes, Genoa. Uh-oh. Watch your back, Louisiana. Yes, they pushed them back. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. It's Quebec. Yeah, it's Quebec moaning again. View. Maintain siege. Village assiégé. To be honest, you got no artillery. It's very, very tempting to take this army, get them in a reinforcing position, and the, as a first step, just dump a load of infantry into Albany. Let's drop in. Another unit of cannons. No, they can't reach. Let's do that. So if they try move in, if they want to move in and attack Albany, or if they get within range and they can attack Albany, I'll force their hand and make them do it. This could be quite interesting. But yes. I think my idea of being able to freeing up forces from America to fight elsewhere might not quite have gone to plan. Oh well. Let's just do a bit of investing. Go on, Quebec. You're actually quite a... Not a poor nation, are you? Do I have any schools over here? I don't think I do. And let's spend whatever money I've got remaining replenishing these forces that I can. Also join them to the siege and then just let's maintain siege them. Well, Syria's got a port. Good. Okay, in turn. So let's see what happens. Ah, the British have sallied out, but looking at the timer, that'll definitely run me over my time limit. So, thanks for watching, guys, and in the next part we will see the brilliant defence... Well, the, the British trying to sally out of Philadelphia, and it's not going to work. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.